Hello everyone, welcome to Tom and Arnold Talk Movies. I am Tom, this is Arnold. Hi. Today we're talking about Evil Dead Rise. This was written and directed by Lee Cronin. The latest instalment of the Evil Dead franchise. After finding the Book of the Dead, a family descends into chaos. Blood, guts and slime, it's Evil Dead Rise. Arnold, what do you think of Evil Dead Rise? Well, not much to be honest. It was it was just whatever really. I didn't have much expectations. It seemed all right going from the trailers, but trailers are one thing. But um, it just felt like a, a complete sort of generic fest at times. There were moments where it sort of embraced its sort of wackiness with the gore elements, but overall, it just it was kind of a, a forgettable film, if I may say so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. hmm. What did you think? <laughs> um, yeah, similar to you. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. Comes nowhere near the original trilogy, and no. to an extent, the remake that they I made. I haven't seen the remake. What was the remake like, Tom? It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> okay. It was good, man. It was. It's practically. See, all right. One thing good about this film is that it's not in a cabin. It's not ash. It's not this. It's not that. It's a new idea, but that doesn't necessarily make it good. No, no. The remake in 2013 was practically just the first one again. Yeah. But I don't know. I just there was something about the remake I enjoyed. Mm. But um, it's it's probably more entertaining and interesting than some of the other modern horror things films. Even. Yeah. Like Conjurings and Insidiouses and yeah. all that stuff. Although saying that there has been some quite good horror recently, like Smile and and other stuff like that. But um, it just was standard. Just yeah, it just, standard. it just wasn't really that memorable, if I'm honest. I think the opening sequence was all right for the, the starters. The opening was fucking great. The way she like rises up and you see the titles, that was fucking beautiful. That was great. That set me great. up for something yeah, fucking great good. Shot. And it, it, it set yeah. me up for something which wasn't delivered, in my opinion. No, no, it just, um, yeah. It might be, I mean, the film might be a bit more gorier than other films which come out, but it just didn't have that impact on them. And I think as well, when you hear the name like Evil Dead, it sort of comes with this expectation of like, of course. this is going to be a bit fucked. Of course. This is going to be a bit mad. Because of based what's already been established. Yeah, yeah. But there's it, an expectation, so you I know. I didn't get that from this though. It's like, no. I didn't hate it. Didn't think it was shit, but it was just whatever, man. It kind of it kind of felt like it played it safe a bit at times, I mm -hmm. thought. Yeah. But I, I didn't feel like it was as creative. No, as the other film, just a I lot mean, of generic tropes thrown in. For yeah, the sake. yeah. And I think the film took a bit of a while to sort of get it going yeah. after it kicked I, in. Yeah, I never felt really like fully engaged. Yeah, at... there was like moments of short bursts with like that earthquake bit, but mm. it was just like, come on, get to the gore stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I mean, you can't watch a film and be like, I just want gore in it. No, no, but it's no, just no, like no, no. it's just like. But it's just like when you watch like the first Evil uh, Dead film and the second one, it's just like it, the way it kicks straight in. It's just like yeah, yeah. yeah I, I honestly thought with that opening, I, I didn't watch the trailer. I, if I if I if I think a film's gonna be all right, I watched like mm. about thirty seconds Sitting. of the trailer. Yeah, and I knew it wasn't gonna take place in a cabin. No, but like I did like the way that it sets up, and you think oh another cabin, and then it's not. No, I liked no. that, but yeah, just just whatever. But yeah, I like going on about like how it didn't feel as creative as the other ones. It's like the moments which did feel sort of stupid and creative and that were already done from other films. It's yeah. like the one bit I can think of is um, the bit where she bites someone's eye out, spits the eye out, and it goes into someone's oh, mouth. I thought that was hilarious. It, it's funny, yeah. but they but did it, that in Evil Dead 2. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like that's another thing. It's like this might sound silly because it's an Evil Dead film, but the only good bits to me was when it felt Evil Dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it wasn't lived long enough to really yeah, embrace yeah. that sort of, you know. I really wanted it to, like, as soon as, like... Spoilers, 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 by the way. As soon as, like, the mum becomes a dead eye, I wanted it to just go fucking nuts. Yeah. I wanted it to keep going, 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 going. And it felt like it did for a bit, then it calmed down. Then it did for a bit. Then it calmed yeah. down. It never and it never really felt like oh we're getting towards the end. Now it's all gonna fucking. The pacing kick off. definitely did suffer because yeah, of that. it's like up yeah. and down, up and down, up and down. I've just hit my microphone. I thought the mom character <coughs> when she was possessed. I think she was the best at of being possessed out of all of the other people. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I want to talk about the cast later on, but we'll just carry yeah, on yeah, for yeah, this we'll, a bit. We'll come back to it. But it's just like 
it's like as well it's like there was some sort of fan service bits and i don't mind fan service but it's like you need the fan service should complement what we're watching it shouldn't be what's good about it you know yeah. what i mean like the whole chainsaw and the shotgun and blah 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 blah. what's that line she says come get some yeah which it's is like from it, the it end doesn't of... feel like it was proper earned it just and felt it felt like it was place. just throw in there yeah, yeah yeah i mean and it didn't suit the sort of tone the film's going for i know it was a bit like funny but it didn't really suit it whereas when he said it in army of darkness at the end hmm. like it suits perfectly yeah. because that's what ash is like oh, your soul. come get some it wasn't it wasn't overly indulgent with the references I no mean, no at least no. at least that had that going for it so there's that mm. but i liked yeah. as well how you can sort of this can also be set within the three films if you know what i mean because they don't they find the book of the dead but it's not the same book of the dead no it's like a variation yeah it's yeah. like <clears throat> it's like a different um they say there's three books yeah, one for Ash, one for the woman in the um, the one that came out twenty thirteen, and the one in this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all different books. So that's kind of cool that they they can sort of connect. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just was expecting a bit more. I felt like Terrifier two had a better had that sort of Evil Dead tone and style mm. to it, and that's what I was expecting from this. You know what I mean? I was expecting sort of something more Terrifier two ish. And like the Evil Dead films are probably better than Terrifier, but it's like, oh, that's what I wanted, and that's what I didn't get. Maybe, maybe it's just our expectations were for something different. And I think that's just yeah. it at the end of the day. I mean, I think when it came to the ending, spoiler, spoilers, it wasn't because of I knew what was going to happen because they had to like do like um, that's continued from the very start of the you know the the first scene, but it was just, it was just because of how generic the film was. It was just the way they were going to end it with an unseen demon running at her and mm. then she screams and then cuts her black. It was just like... I mean, they did do that in the first one, though. I know, but it's <laughs> like, come on, do something a bit different here, mm. you know? I think what made it better in the first one is that we'd been with Ash the entire film and then yeah. he thinks he's got away with it and then, nope, you're yeah. fucked. It felt like the script was a different horror film and it got changed to be Evil Dead. Yeah, and the guy who wrote this and directed it, Lee Cronin, he did a film called uh, "The Hole in the Ground," I think. Mm. A decent film, decent film. I watched it a while ago. I can't really remember it that well, but I remember it being somewhat decent. And it's just like I wonder if this, like, I wonder if he sort of had a similar film in mind that he previously made, and then you know they thought, "Fuck it, what can we, what can we make more money off? Evil Dead, fuck it." Guarantee like a Evil profit. Dead. Have an established franchise. Mm. Boom, there you go. I think maybe, I mean, us two, we've watched some fucked up horror. And it's like, maybe if maybe if you're like a horror fan, but you're not really like mad into horror, this would be like, whoa, that's fucked up. Yeah, I think that's just But it's just like, for, for, I sound like a twat. But for me, like, it just didn't fucking, it just wasn't as gory as I thought it was going to be. I wanted something fucked up, man. I wanted her to fucking rip into her fucking, fucking like, like, fucking do that fucking angry baby. <laughs> I did like that scene when um, she puts her finger on the vinyl player and she opens her mouth mm. to uh, amplify the recording. That was, <laughs> yeah, that that's was pretty cool. That was fucking good shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wanted to talk about the performances? Yeah, one last, one last biggest, my biggest complaint. <laughs> biggest. Biggest I'll take. Biggest complaint, man. The main character didn't lose a hand. No. Not no. good. Zero out of ten for that. <laughs> Someone sort of... Is that what happened in the 2013 one? Yeah. Oh, okay. She loses a hand. Ash loses a hand. But no one loses a hand in this. May or unless they're going to do a sequel and she loses a hand in that one. Probably. But that was another thing. It was just like... I think when you've got a main character and you actually like fuck them up a bit, like you make them lose a hand or whatever. Mm. Like even if she lost an eye, that would have been cool. Yeah. But it's like when that happens, it's like, oh, fuck. This fucking... This demon means fucking business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like... Nah, nah. The f it felt like there was not many, uh, much stakes. I mean, to be fair, I mean most of the family died, but yeah, yeah. Cares. Some alright effects. I mean, like, yeah. I liked, um, I liked when she's eating the glass and like it pokes yeah. through her fucking throat. Fucking great. That man. was pretty cool. Very good. But as well, I thought the cheese grater bit was a bit lame. Um, yeah. No. You know, it was just like oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and as well, it's just like I know, like things are different, obviously, from like the fucking eighties. Yeah. But it's like a lot of it felt fucking CGI, man. 
Yeah. You know what I, mean? I thought the, the too uh, reliant. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers again. But towards the end of the film, the, the like the deadites like combine into this weird monster, and I'm sure there's a bit where you see like it seems like a person in a costume running mm. along the floor. That looked fucking creepy. Yeah. But then when you see it all together and it just looks like a big CGI monster. Yeah. Ah, fuck this, man. It works when there's not much lighting on it, and you know when it's only shot a certain way. It's like that looks pretty fucking mm-hmm. intimidating. Definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, the cast. I thought the cast, all the cast, were pretty fucking good, man. Like all yeah, they good. they definitely did a good job. Especially as you've mentioned, Alicia, Alyssa, I think it's Alyssa, Alyssa Sutherland who played Ellie, and also I think she was the strongest, the main deadite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the way she had that sort of creepy smile. Yeah. And the, when, you know, because the deadites always do this, like, taunting thing. Yeah. And she says that one line where it's like, your mum's sleeping with the maggots now or whatever. Yeah. And, like, that's fucking great, that is. That's fucking great. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because, like, we fucking love the Evil Dead films. And it's just, like, maybe I was expecting too much or maybe... I don't know, though, because... Honestly, my expectations were it was going to be shit. Sorry, I just touching it. It's all right. But, um, <laughs> but it's just like, I honestly thought this is going to be fucking like... I, I, I thought it was going to be shit. So when it's I watched because it... because you've invested so much of your time in the films growing up. You want mm. more of it because you care about this franchise. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's just, you know... Uh, I, to be honest, it, it didn't surprise me that it sort of turned out to be like this. I felt like they kind of had to do it a safe play it safe approach because I know they're going to do more sequels they even said they might do like three or four or something mm. like that I wouldn't so, say they played I think they played it safe in terms of maybe storyline and maybe blah 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 well I, I think when it comes to like recreating some moments like you said with the eyeball thing it's like that's kind of playing it safe yeah, because but, it's like you know you don't want to be too, you don't want to try anything too new in case it's like okay what, what are you doing yeah but I mean I reckon if they would have played it safe it would have been like a 12 or a PG, uh, a PG 13 in America. I mean, that's nuts if they did that. Yeah, yeah, that's that. what I mean. I mean, yeah. that that to me would be playing it safe and have no involvement from Sam Raimi yeah, and all yeah. that. But in terms of playing it safe, in terms of the story, yeah, I suppose, yeah. I suppose you're right, yeah. But, um, I mean, it was all right that they weren't in a cabin. I mean, it is a bit Jason takes Manhattan, but, <laughs> you know. It's funny how we had Evil Dead go to the city and we had Scream 6 go to the city as well. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched Scream 6 yet, though. No. Maybe that's the review coming up. Uh, to <laughs> no. be continued. Um, there is a few things I like about this, but just overall, it just doesn't stack up. It just, no. I don't know, it just... I've seen some shit horror films, I've seen some really good horror films, and this, it's not really shit, it's not really good, it's somewhere in the middle. It's just average. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe... I don't know. I think, because we watched this, like... <laughs> Maybe Last we're the problem. Week. Yeah, maybe we're just idiots. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's just like, I think like, I don't know, because we watched this like four days ago or something, five days ago. And it's like, maybe we're just like not remembering it as well. But I don't know, I feel like maybe no, if we I, I, don't, it, I don't think it's that. I mean, I, I can pretty much remember most of what happened and I still feel the same regardless. Mm. I, I don't know, maybe if I really watched it now that I know what it's like. You, it's, maybe it's I like horrible. it more. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll maybe I'll watch it again because that, that's the thing. I do want to watch this again. It's not like I've watched it and been like, I'm never fucking watching that shit again. No. I do want to watch it again. Yeah, so yeah. so that's that's it, something. But yeah, it's just it didn't infuriate you as a fan. No, yeah. no, no. It's not like it's fucking shit. And that, it, <clears throat> you never know. Like if they do a sequel, like because my favorite is Evil Dead Two, yeah. and it's just like maybe Evil Dead. Rise will become like Evil Dead. No, it ma- maybe the sequel to Evil Dead Rise will become like the Evil Dead Two, and Evil Dead Rise will be like the Evil Dead, where yeah, you know, Evil Dead Two is maybe slightly better, but you know, maybe looking back when they're all released as a whole, it will be fucking sick. I wonder. I wonder yeah, if they will like a refined version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if they will. Um, you know, if they if there is a sequel because it's done pretty fucking well. If there is a sequel, if they will go sort of more fucking nuts like they did with um, you know the, the, the original trilogy a part of me just doesn't care to be honest I don't know I, I, I do. don't know it's just it, it was alright but um, I don't know see maybe maybe see that's the one thing though because I mean it's not that I didn't enjoy the film but it's like yeah it's just like like I said I, I want to see a sequel and I want to see it again so yeah. there's something in my brain which is telling me this is alright Watch it again. Maybe you'll fucking like it, or maybe you'll think it's even worse. But yeah, I think I think what I think what made it 
all right when it's to the cast. I think the cast were perfectly cast, basically. But yeah, overall, it's decent. Some good shit. Some alright shit. It's not bad. Oh, and there's a uh, there's a uh, there's also a reference to The Shining, which I thought was good, where the blood comes all like the lift. Oh, in the air, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and also, <clears throat> I don't know if this was a reference to The Shining, but the bit where she's in the bath and she sort of crawls out was very similar to The Shining as well, where, um, you know, Jack Torrance goes into the room and there's the weird, creepy woman. But yeah, <laughs> Evil Dead Rise, it's all right. Anything else on Evil Dead Rise? Nah. Yeah. Right, I think we'll leave it there then. Not much else to say, not much else to say, but we'll see. Maybe in two years' time or next year or whenever, we'll be back here for Evil Dead Rise 2. And we'll be like, oh my god, we were so wrong. That's if we don't get nuked. Mm. 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 Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> we'll be back with another review sometime soon. And... Maybe you'll watch that one as well. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll give this a dislike. We won't see it anyway. Actually, we'll, we'll see. Like, we'll cry about it. We'll cry about it. But, you know, we'll... Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, I'll just stop here because I'm just rambling now. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, good day, Voyager. <laughs>